Marriages that thrive are where husbands and wives have a core bedrock of common convictions that they can come back to and say, this is what we're building on. This is our foundation. And no matter what what else is happening, we keep coming back to these core convictions. I realize that with my girls, they're going to go into their marriage and they're going to act very much like I act as a wife because Mm -hmm. I am the model for them as a wife. And, and that's a scary and high calling for me as a mom, you know, more so than having sons, of course, who would be looking at my husband, but with having daughters, um, you know, that that's, it's, it's an important thing to me. I want my girls to go into their marriage, um, and have a successful marriage as, as successful as possible. And I want them to thrive. And my husband and I were talking the other day and I, I said, you know, I, I want us to thrive and, and we are, um, you know, again, I mean, all these years later, I, I, I wouldn't have said that the first 10, maybe 15 years of our marriage. And we've had our ups and downs, but, um, but now as we've grown in the Lord, especially, and I'm assuming that's going to be one of your answers. Um, you know, we've learned really to thrive in our marriage, um, in a lot of ways. And there's, of course, we always still have things that we are working through. Um, but how can you encourage us to not just survive our marriages, but truly thrive in them? So I'll give you four markers that I think are the common markers of marriages that are thriving. And I'm, I'm going to take as, as a given what you just said, that both of us are committed to the Lord, that yeah. we're growing in the Lord, that this is what's important to us, uh, and, and that we really are pursuing Christ wholeheartedly. That's That's a given. With that in place, I think there are four things that marriages that are thriving have in common. And the, the, I'll give you the list of four, and then we can unpack them as we have time to do it. The okay. first is there is extravagant love expressed between the husband and the spouse, the, the, the wife in a marriage. So the love is not, it, we're not thrifty with it. We're not uh, chintzy with it. We are extravagant in how we express our love. I don't mean we spend a lot of money on it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we express it extravagantly. Second thing is we are generous with our forgiveness. Mm -hmm. We are quick to forgive and we are quick to overlook. Uh, Love covers a multitude of sins. It's a man's glory to overlook an offense. Some things we just let go and overlook. And then when we do have to confront, we're quick forgivers in a marriage. Third thing is uh, marriages are, are filled with enthusiastic encouragement. We are cheerleaders for one another, and we express that on and on. We, we are cheering one another on, and uh, we, the, the world's doing enough to, to push us down. We should be able to look to one another as the one who's going to pull us back up and say, you can do this. You're doing great. Yeah. And then the last thing is there are going to be common convictions that we have. Marriages that thrive are where husbands and wives have a core bedrock of common convictions that they can come back to and say, this is what we're building on. This is our foundation. And no matter what what else is happening, we keep coming back to these core convictions. I think those are the four things. If those are present in a marriage, Mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to see that marriage not thriving. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 